I love uh, just the way they play, even if it doesn't work. A little bit of bottle hit here, General. He wants to be able to punish Thompson for being so far out here. He's going to go for the Flame Break and the Firefly, but an instant TP went out. Meanwhile, First Blood does get claimed bottom by Seb. <laughs> His life is traded away, and they actually get two kills out of the situation. Mid one, he's going to take a uh, timeout in the jungle here. But Thompson, he runs right past Always Want to Fly. That's he's going to go for V2. Really wants to be able to get on top of a V2. And he's put himself in a beautiful little corner here to pump out some damage. Nobody's died just yet. Thompson picks up a tree and chucks it over at uh, the support. Always Want to Fly. He goes down, but they didn't get their original target. V2 survives and gets a double kill again. Back to that bounty rune. He uh, did steal the Euphotic Shield to toss over, but it uh, doesn't land in time. No Tail finds that uh, his ultimate's going to be popped here automatically. Automatically. They're going to try and go for general. More TPs are going to be coming in here. He's going to be able to get the combo. With that finishes off general. Roger with his aphotic shield it does make himself rather tanky. He's going to re-steal it again. And uh, Iceberg is finally going to be able to show up. If you can get an X on somebody here, tries to go for the blind torrent, misses, tops, and turns around on him. And now this is uh, some rotations for Flight and Moon that's going to go terribly as Iceberg immediately woken up. But here comes the saving grace. It's going to be their draw range of the stun comes out from the vent. They throw off a damage, and all of a sudden, OG are melting. Thompson hopes for one last attempt at a kill. Some damage goes out. And, uh, well... He does manage to at least kill Iceberg on his way out. Kunkka wants to walk up to Creeps and Tidebringer him down, and he is not able to be independent on the map this game. He kind of stuck playing with his team all game, so he's going to be under level for a while. Even better if he has the strength to just threaten people. The boat's going to come in here. It's going to land on a no-tail. He pops his barrel. Time to soak up that damage. They're trying to play around this tier one tower, but now Seb coming in from the side. Primal Roar goes out. Roger actually stealing the uh, borrowed time there from no-tail. Tries to soak up as much damage as possible on Thompson. He gets hit by the torrent. Will slow down for the Frost Arrows. Beautifully played by Flight of Moon. Let's hope he's uh, one of those belly sleepers, you know? Yeah, for sure. And here we go, the classic man. EU. Uh, you gotta be careful. Swap back into the Drill Ranger. General has his Firefly up. The X pulled him back <laughs> in, but another swap from Always Want to Fly. He says, I'll give up my life if I can bring down Thompson. He may not even have to do that. The Aphotic Shield was keeping him alive for a little bit. Now the last is gonna go down and catch his Soxa. So for support, whip for support. But with the Thompson kill on top of that and fly to Moon, turn this aggression into a Tier 1 tower as well. They have Siege Control of the tri Triangle. Maybe gonna get a ward up if possible. Does no tail does yeah, plus this a sentry. kind of rotation. It's gonna surprise Fly to Moon. Surely as he's gonna be able to hop on in, be able to catch uh, always want to fly and iceberg in that beautiful initiation of theirs. Instantly, those two heroes are gone and Fly to Moon's on the run. And a bad in shielding him. So Tiny, he's on his own. Like he's doing his job independent of what his team's doing. So he's just gonna capitalize on their movements, right? They're just like, don't leave me. Don't leave me behind. Oh God. See. Oh no, General. It is an attempt. Oh, the gem. God, are they going to lose the gem, too? No-Tail picks it up. What a disaster. And he's just going to say Tanic right back to full. Firing out at V2. Nice turnaround for Staff with All the stolen body shield. shield as well. So that's going to get the Primal Roar down. Problem is, they're still fighting three versus five. And now Iceberg has been tossed back into potentially his doom. The gust goes out, but it's not enough to save him. Torrent from Storm, the use it! Use it! Where's the Torrent oh Storm? He never God. got it off. The swap back in does manage to kill Soxa here. Mid one going all the way into the fountain here. V-Tune, is he going to die underneath the fountain? Mid one's going for it. BKB, dive a little bit more, but he's been lasso pulled back. Thank God he didn't have the Divine Rapier. They're going to buy back on V-Tune as well. And surely they've got it son. They do telekinesis. That's going to stop. No tail. So they lose no barracks. And we get some sort of swap play in. Roshan, it's so low. They're going to have to... Oh, OG is actually going to take the fight to them here as they come out. They have the Hawk with the Vision. The two supports, they've been caught out of position. The swap back onto Roger. He gets off the Aphotic Shield. The Torrent Storm's going to go down. Actually landing nicely onto these two heroes, but V-Tune has been chased away so far. He's going to turn around and kill Soxa with the Lasso combination, but that's just the support. It took him so long to kill him, too. And now V-Tune's being chased by the Gyrocopter. He got hit by the Earth Splitter. Fortunately, the rest of the team is there to bail him out. But Iceberg is still in some trouble. And it looks like Midwan didn't care that there was four heroes all sitting around the same area. He just BKB, manned up just like he did in the fountain. He's going to do it again, try and chase down V-Tune, V-Tune. Oh, another four step. No buyback. Mid closer to the fountain. He oh. does get saved by the link. Is now the turnaround. He get, getting the damage uh. in. Gyrocopter in trouble. Mid one, if you go too far, <laughs> once again, he throws it away. No tail, he dies as well. The Roshan. It's at like Roshan 10%. Roshan is super low. Is OG going to buy back? I mean, your back's against the wall. You need as much cheap damage as you can get.
Yeah, and you're also going for the Enchanted Quiver play, where yeah. you want as much value out of one hit as possible. So the, the, it just makes sense. The smoke's going to break. General, he knows they're somewhere here on the high ground. They drop a ward. They see Telekinesis to lead off on Thompson. The follow-up, there goes the lasso, but uh, immediately, immediately gets uh, interrupted there. And now the turnaround as General finds himself primal roared, and the rest of his team still on the low ground. As Seb, he's going to be able to help catch Roger as well. Always want to fly. Goes for a TP out. And he'll be good there. You know, mid one, you'd think he did that the first time, but he, he did not go through that process. And uh, Maybe he thinks the dive is the correct play, but he executed it incorrectly. So, so you got to test it one more time. Yeah. Okay, I see. He came from the top half of the map. Yeah. Than, oh, I see, I see. It's all about the angles, BSJ. Yes, yes, geometry Damn. and such. Hmm. I think Drought can hit him from like 1,200 range here. Yeah, I mean, a torrent, just a little bit of poke. Boat's going to come in. Surely he's going to die. Okay, there you go. Life number one, gone. And General up in 10 seconds. Spot, once they get in the tier four fountain area, they could stay there for a very long time. Yeah. Sab, he's, he's initiation. Oh, General tried to blink as well, but oh, he doesn't God. quite catch him in time. The precasted roar, and then General just blinks right into it. Yeah. That's brutal. Blink for blink, and now OG. Oh my god, the damage. Yeah, he's putting it out. He's like dead. Mid one almost lost his ages, but they did get the melee barracks. Now they can spend their time. Oh no, Thompson looks like he just chucked some trees over there and got a kill on the support. Always want to fly goes down. At what point do you put the play mail over the treads for mid one? Yeah. I think you're actually right on the money there, but all oh, the damage! Uh. Soxa just blinks in. All of a sudden, the draw ranger gets blown up and dead for two minutes. So that's it. That's the game right there, ladies and gentlemen. Game number one does go to OG, as many probably would have predicted. Yeah, you see the power of ET right there, right? It's just like, let's just buff up what we're already doing. We don't need a hero yeah. that offers us anything new. We just need all of that. We're theory crafting the five different orientations of roles that this could come up with. Uh, and I, I think I was right, right? I yeah, said, I said three said. mag, four Sven. Yep. Okay, okay, you know, just once again, uh, teaching Cap a thing or two as we work together here. We do see the Abaddon absolute last pick in response Yo, to okay, the no, no, not, You also suggested an uh, 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 offlane Riki. With a meteor And hammer. I said to you, absolutely not. I can't see Riki any, anywhere else but... Uh, but safe lane. Midwest committing for it. Is he going to get this first blood? He needs the Aphonic Shield to pop, and he gets it. Aphonic Shield does <laughs> pop and do damage before the damage is registered, so... No tail almost lost them that first blood by tanking the tower. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that disjoints? I did not know that either. Huh. But apparently invisibility can disjoint. So oh, Thompson pops back out. Iceberg wants it. If he can get a range of the toss, maybe no, but the fairy fire goes off. So Thompson's going to be perfectly fine. Because if you rotate too much, you, you and Tiny are basically doing the same job at that point, And then nobody's farming. So uh, as we see OG diving again, Thompson's back for some more. Iceberg's also here. This Iceberg is, is going to go in against four by himself, basically. A little bit of hit and run tactics. Not enough to kill anybody just yet. Thompson, the tree goes out, but a phonic shield. That'll block some of the damage here. But a general goes for the hook shot, hits the Abaddon instead. That's not what he wanted. He does have his battery salt out. No tails left on very low HP. Mid one's going to try and man fight it up. Dodging a little bit more. Soxa pops the god strength and finishes off general. His first rotation, and it goes completely awry. Now Iceberg may find himself killed next to his tier 2 tower. Roger, please save me, buddy. The avalanche just slows down the damage. Bottle hits, but it's not good enough. They're going to dive into the tier 2. And there's no response from anybody else. I mean, they've got the Terror Blade. He just wants to keep farming. Roger's going to get dove underneath the tier 1. And I guess damage isn't the issue anymore. Roger tosses mid 1 back into the tier 1 tower. But the tower... It's busy focusing on creeps, so nobody from OG will die. V-Tune will get a tier That's one, good. though. was in the bottom lane for what, like two minutes in a row? Yeah, always want to fly. He's being chased uh, underneath that tier there one we go tower. Again. But they do have two-man smoke coming in from behind, plus now TP rotation. There we so go. it's going to get real interesting real quick. Iceberg gets a nice combination on a mid one. Seb looking to protect his carry, throws out the RP, but there's so many heroes here. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get away from this one. Mid one pops out looking for a blink strike, but no opportunity in range. Range, fly to moon, nicely baited by always I one fly. It. This is the benefit of VTune taking that tower top 94 plus 145. You have the Claymore, you have the Empower, and the DDR. RP Skewer back into the rest of the team with the AOE stun of the Stormhammer. A beautiful combination that kills the two supports. Not RTZ, nor is it Mickey that we saw earlier. But uh, it's fine if you miss your spells, just sunder your support.
Yeah, always want to fly, so this is no big deal. I got the Tranquil Boots, going to toss back again. This time on, Sebi is able to get the skewer away. Looks like a little bit farther down. We had the hook shot on in on to Thompson. That's a way more important kill as No-Tail was too busy trying to save his other allies to get to Thompson. Now mid one sends some trouble. Blink strike away. A you can just shield off the dust. Oh no, he tossed back a creep. It got in the way. No-Tail, he'll be hit by the low ground shots on the Terror Blade. That's actually super annoying. They can't dust the Ricky because you can abat and shield off the dust. Yeah, skewer back in. Seb catches VTune and his illusions, but I'm not sure if he wanted to do that. Iceberg takes that opportunity to pull Seb back into the fight that he started four in the staff. first place. And four staff, there it goes. General, he's going to be able to grab some people here. And buybacks are coming out from OG. They're going to try and turn around on General. A Photic Shield stolen by Roger. He's going to be able to wake General up from that stun RP for a second there, Seb. That's not the real Terror Blade. He quickly realizes, too. Can't stick around for the 20 minute bounty runs. Now, RP skewered oh, together. That was sick. That was nicely let up, but Iceberg's still alive until they get the four staff surrounding him. Make sure he can't. Can't get his hands on any of those bounty runes either. Oh, immediate that. smoke. A lot of timing, super early. Scotty complete. Yep, he has the Scotty, so he's very much ready to fight. They're going to get the toss back onto No Tail here. Not really the ideal target, but they're still going to be able to find some other heroes here. OG, oh, they're being slowed down by this Scotty. Uh, they do have that tiny very, very low, and it looks like Mid One might be able to pick up the kill, but no. Actually, Lasso pull back. Mid One's in some trouble. The RP goes out, but it doesn't stop the damage from V-Tune as he lays it out. They do have that big Sun Strike combo there, but it didn't really come to effect. Nobody really got caught by that. Just a bit of harm, uh, harmless damage on a general. Okay, a little bit of meatball action there on VTune, bringing him a little bit low, but he still has a Sunder, turns it on to Thompson. Thompson now down to half health, but they need some disables, they need some stuns. VTune, he needs to be able to pump out the damage on people. Looks like he's got some eyes finally onto Thompson, but he's getting skewered back into the tier two, but he doesn't give a damn. He now lays what, that though? damage out, <laughs> finishes off the Invoker, and they're turning oh. Soxa is trying to, but it's a four position. Sven with a four staff. You don't show any armor. damage, Soxa. Underneath the towers, VTune just doesn't care. He goes to the DP out spot. Oh, oh my god! The storm hammer comes in just in time, and V Tune not having a sunder anymore means he's just damn dead. That uh, that goes up in value a lot this game compared to most other games, as he does commit to the butterfly buying the eagle song. Chill, mid one, damn. At least he's not in their fountain just yet. Yeah, not yet. Give him time though. Oh, Give him time. Down. That's a dieback for Invoker. They'll have like 50 seconds where there's no meta and there is an Invoker. Yeah, that's why Iceberg is looking for more kills. But mid one, he was sitting there on the high ground and he makes mid oh. oh, an RP that completely whipped. Stole it. And V2 seems an opportunity. Was that an RP whipped by the Rubik as well? I think uh, so. Yes, wow. Double whiffed RP. Don't see that every day, ladies and gentlemen. Soxa has the force staff to get himself down on the cliff. No tail, though he doesn't have his borrowed time. So that's going to be two extra kills, and all it cost them was tiny. Oh, he's got the level 20 blink strike. Yeah. This is when supports uh, don't have a game anymore. Positioning no longer exists. Yeah. You cannot uh, play around that. What I think it turns into 1100 blink range, 1200. Yeah, I think it's actually, yeah, something like that. Just like the PA cast range buff. Sun like. strike. Okay, but mid. Oh, no. Uh, they saw an opportunity there. Going to be able to get the RP skewer back with a 425 extra range. They pull him all the way back into the tier 3 area. They don't immediately have the lasso to remove it, but it doesn't really matter. V-Tune's left alone. Deafening Blast slows down his damage. They're going to pop the glyph now to try and do some more work onto OG, but they're all pretty tanky here. And uh, mid one, he's not scared of the Terror Blade by himself. It's a 1v5 after all. V-Tune. He does have his Sunder, so they got to be a little Sunstrike? bit careful of that. Sunstrike isn't going to do enough. They're just quite impactful. Yeah. Ben especially always has that problem, right? Hook shot immediately. That's an Agonim Scepter. Double hook mid shot. One? That's going to be enough. Chain stun. Mid one. Mid one is Ben nuts. away his godlike streak. He is on one tonight. Still feel free to say mid one kick W, though. Hook As shot we see one. Caught. Pogs push back. Seb. And they have another hook shot here as he gets tossed up. No Second buyback. shot not really needed. Seb, he is, that's a dieback for him. They are super split right now. I'm an OG. They they somehow know that. Maybe because of their wards and they, they're going to be able to catch V-Tune here. 
It's got Manta and Meta. The smoke screen, though, it's going to be so problematic. Scotty's slowing him down a lot. Does turn around to get off the Sunder, but here comes the Cataclysm. Two man Sun Strike hits there. General's going to be able to help him out, though. Nice Cox holding back Stocks at the same time. Thompson's just being obliterated by this damage. But the only thing that's saving right now is the Disarm that was on VTune's actual hero. His illusions almost did the trick, but Thompson slides away. Thief into the night with that Ghost Walk, unless General, he's going to find him. Re-ups it with the Aghanim Scepter and finds the hook shot. Went from down 8k to a Rax in their favor, and that's probably going to lead to Roche as they have a Courier sitting in there, going to be up in 30 seconds. Yes, all of OG will be alive, but they're going to have to walk through a creep wave to contest that for sure from the Keeps front. Keeps on covering himself with the smoke screen just to make sure Iceberg can't